Hey, what is going on guys? So today on the channel I'm going to be talking about how to upgrade from macOS 10 Lion to macOS 10 High Sierra. So this is a 2011 MacBook Pro. It's currently running Lion as you can see. Now you may think that it's just as simple as going to the Mac App Store and searching for High Sierra. Well actually if you do go to the Mac App Store and you try to search for High Sierra, this is what happens you get no results and that's because Apple only keeps the latest version of macOS on the App Store which is right here so that's Catalina of course Catalina cannot be installed on this computer so to get High Sierra what you need to do is go to the link in the description below and if you scroll down here you can see number four it says download High Sierra and you can click this link right here and it actually takes you to the Mac App Store where you can then download High Sierra. Why you can't just search for it in App Store normally, I don't know. But there's another problem. When you do get to the App Store and you have High Sierra ready to download, if you click download here, you get a message that says this update requires macOS version 10.8 or later kind of strange because we know that this 2011 model should support High Sierra. So there is actually an intermediate step that you have to complete before you install High Sierra. And the best way to do that is to upgrade to Mac OS 10 L Capitan first. So what you can do is click on this download link right here and it's going to start a download over here it's called install mac os 10.dmg you can see it's a pretty good sized file here so it's going to take a little while to download but for the sake of this video i have actually already downloaded that file so it's right here in my downloads folder here once it gets done you're going to go ahead and want to open it up and it's going to do its verifying here. And once that gets done verifying, it'll open up this little install window here. And you can see install macOS 10.package. Simply double click on that and it's going to open up the installer window. Okay, so once that opens up, you just want to hit continue. Then hit continue again. Hit install. And you might need to enter your password to let it install. And what this is going to do is install the installer. We should see it appear in the launch pad. There it is, right there. So we'll go ahead and give this a minute to finish up, and then we'll continue with the installation. All right, so that is now completed. We can hit close. We can get out of that. We can even go to the finder window and actually eject that too. Go ahead and get rid of that completely. Now if we go to our launch pad, we see we now have the installer right here. So we can click on that. And now we're in the El Capitan installer. So we can hit continue. We can hit agree. Agree. It's going to install it on our Macintosh HD, of course. Hit install. And it wants us to connect to a power source real quick. Not a bad idea to do so. And once you do that, it's going to ask for the password and now it's going to begin installing so uh, this is going to take a while your computer will restart automatically and all that once it gets done we'll be in a new version of mac os so let's go ahead and wait for this to get done all right guys so just like that we're now running el capitan right here you can see 10.11.6 so now we should be good to go upgrading to high Sierra. So I'll put this link in the description down below. We can scroll down here to download macOS High Sierra. We can click right here for this App Store link. And it's going to go ahead and open that up for us. And here we are, macOS High Sierra. We can hit the download button right here and it should start to download for us. And if we look in our launch pad, well, it's actually going to launch it for us automatically, but you can see it's downloaded here. So now we can go ahead and go through this install wizard right here for High Sierra. So we can hit continue. We can hit agree. Agree one more time. Install it on our Macintosh HD. We hit install. 
I need to put in a password. And there you go. So again, this is going to be a completely automatic installation. So whenever this gets done, we will be good to go with High Sierra. So we would have went from Lion to El Capitan to High Sierra. So it's kind of weird that you do have to do that intermediate step, but that's just how Apple does it. And by the way, El Capitan took about 30 minutes or so to install. High Sierra is actually a little bit longer for some reason. So you just need to sit back and relax and wait for this thing to install. But I will come back whenever we are sitting on the High Sierra desktop. All right, guys, and just like that, we are now sitting here on the High Sierra desktop. So that's basically how you go from Lion to High Sierra. You have to have that intermediate step of installing El Capitan. But it is possible if you're running old software like Lion to get to the latest version of High Sierra. So that's pretty much all I got for you today, guys. Thanks for watching as always. If you have any questions, as usual, put them in the comments down below. Be sure to click that subscribe button, and I will catch you all in the next video.